Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Corey here, your Lux truck expert. We have one of the probably most amazing trucks that I've been a part of that we've built since I've been here in the four years. Um, this truck is similar to the blue Armadillo that we did a few years back. Obviously it's a Ram, it's a Dodge Ram, not a Ford. Um, but this guy wanted everything and then some. So we tried to, again, tailor build it to his specifications and get him all the options that he was wanting. This is a 2021 Ram 5500 four-wheel drive, 84 CA, and it's pretty much got everything that Kelderman has to offer that, that we can kind of make work on our haulers. So you can see it's got the Kelderman um, grill guard, the Commander grill guard with the rigid lights, the Kelderman grill. We didn't opt for the lights here in the grill uh, because we got the grill guard. We've got a worn winch with the synthetic rope additional rigid lights on the outside wings of the kelderman alpha front bumper the monster tow hooks from kelderman as well so we we went full kelderman on the front and what's really awesome is kelderman's has the uh the, the sensors for the uh, forward collision and 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 then on the rear that we do the backup sensor as well they've got all that figured out for the front bumper so it's as factory as it can be we also took off the factory grill um, and painted that white. That normally comes chrome, so we, we wanted to monotone out that to match with the, the Kelderman grill insert that we did there. We've got the painted flares. Comes from the factory that way. We, we did a bed liner on the Kelderman front bumper and the grill guard to, to help protect the front of the truck. And then we did the ultra bright lights on this truck like we did for the armadillo. It's a really awesome option. It's very easy to install. It just plugs into the OBD2 system. And it's a very inexpensive way and very uh, non-invasive way, obviously, because you're not drilling any kind of holes, adding any kind of strobes anywhere. Now, not as bright as the strobe, not as fast flashing, but you kind of get the picture there. It's a lot better than just having your four ways on. It's a really great option, quick install, easy to use, works great. Uh, on the front also, we, we added, and on the rear, but we've got an air chuck that you can hook up a hose so that if you want to air up a tire or anything that you'd need to run air off, maybe even the air tool or something. And then we have an Anderson plug here that you can plug in. Uh, this customer plans to make a small whip that would plug into that so that he can jump a battery uh, on the fly. He doesn't have to open the hood to get to it. So another cool little option. You might have noticed when I opened the door before, how does that have power steps? So that you're right, the chassis cabs do not come with that from the factory because there's typically a def tank in the way. So we take the def tank, we relocate that. Def tank still works. Uh, this customer actually decided to, he's going to delete it himself, so we didn't actually reinstall it when we took it off. That's totally up to you. <laughs> um, but the power steps work from a pickup. We just order them for a pickup, and we put them on the chassis cabs and the interface the same way. So it's a really nice option to add to it. Then going back to the bed, our bread and butter, the Upfit, the 84 CA Elite. Again, we tried to monotone everything. So we've painted the bottom stainless skirts to match the truck. We painted the fender flares. We even painted the fuel tank. This customer is actually running a split fuel tank. Uh, it's set up as transfer only uh, out of both sides. So we've got the pump set up inside the compartment. He's gonna run, um, Diesel, number two diesel on one side and then an off-road diesel out of the other side. And again, it has a pump handle inside so that you can pump fuel out of there. We've also installed an inverter. So we can do a 110 inverter inside the compartment there for any kind of 110 power that you would need. We can do that as a, a pure sign or or not a pure sign inverter, depending on what your needs are. If you're just running tools, if you're looking to run a laptop or uh, charge a cell phone or something more critical as far as the power 
goes. We added all the rigid work lights that have become very common. We do we do a lot of rigid lights now. They're they're awesome on the light pylon to see back behind the truck, and then of course the ones in the bumper. This is the UB step bumper, off-road style bumper. Again, we typically we do these on normal haulers, but a lot of times when we're doing the Kelderman front bumper, we're always going to install something like this because aesthetically it's going to match the bulkiness of the front bumper, give you that monotone look. And again, with the nice bed liner on the top surfaces where you're going to step. He's got the air chuck and the Anderson plug at the rear as well. And then we put the auxiliary camera actually here in the in the bumper. See behind the truck for your bumper pull or for your receiver hitch. Trailer saver hitch wouldn't be complete without the big air air ride hitch. Those are very popular. Um, they're they're just beasts of a hitch. Seventy five hundred pound pin weight, thirty two thousand pound towable weight. So you can pretty much throw anything on there that you're going to need to pull with with this truck. It's definitely the hitch to made up with the capacities of this big Ram 5500. And as always, the compartments are LED lit, lizard skin lining inside of them. Painted the fuel fills monotone, again, to match with the rest of the truck. Put the amp research flip down steps. You can flip that out, get up to the hitch or whatever you need them to do in there. This customer actually ended up wanting to add the aircraft track the entire length of the bed. So inside of the bed interior area, we typically only do four one piece, uh, sorry, four one foot pieces of the aircraft track for tie downs. He requested that we put the full six foot track in there on each side so we can do that. Uh, the D-rings, I don't know if I've ever done a video showing the D-rings. We can also do recessed D-rings in the floor that flip up. And really, pretty much any kind of configuration you want. Again, he, he requested that he would have six kind of spaced out like that. So that's an option as well. Backup sensors in the rear bumper, um, like the front, like we were talking about. And then again, we notched the light pylon for the high mount camera and the digital rear view camera for the rear view mirror. LED work light upgrades on the light pylon here as well. So that's, that's pretty much the rundown on this Ram 5500 Elite 84. Uh, again, when we're talking with the Elites, it comes standard with the top storage compartment. So you're going to have one over each wheel well, and typically one here in the center. We can omit it and put that big fuel tank, though. That's an option. So those are the kinds of things. Again, we're trying to tailor it to your needs specifically. We don't want to sell you something that's not going to work for you or some cookie cutter build that doesn't do what you need to do at the end of the day. We want you to be happy and make it functional the way that you plan to use this truck. Uh, I believe this customer does desert racing, so I'm assuming this is going to be in some way like a bit of a support tow vehicle type setup. And that's again why he's got the fuel tank configured the way he does and all the tie downs. I'm sure that there may be dirt bikes or parts or something in the back of there, even with that big hitch and everything. So yeah, that's that's the rundown on this. Um thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.